Hey everybody, wishing you a 4th of July weekend. Hope that uh, you're having a good time enjoying the barbecue. And if you're going to pop fireworks, remember there's some areas that can't uh, you can't pop the fireworks because of drought. So for God's sake, be careful. And for God's sake, don't put a firecracker in your hand and hold on to it. You know, your hand's going to blow off. I mean, some people have common sense, but others don't. So have a happy and safe 4th of July. And I hope that I do, too. Uh, one of the great things is that with the heat, you have a tendency to want to stay inside and kick back to watch a movie. And that's what I did. And I want to talk about one film in particular, which was released 20 years ago. That's L.A. Story. It is directed by Mick Jackson, who directed Threads. But he also directed the, uh, you may have heard of it, The Bodyguard with Kevin Cosner and Whitney Houston. So uh, he did go on to a little better things. Uh, the script um, was written by Steve Martin, who also stars in the film. He plays Harris, who is this sort of crazy weatherman who's doing the weather in 1990s L.A. You know, he has this life that he's not particularly happy about. And his life changes when he stumbles upon a parking sign, an electronic parking sign, that pretty much starts giving him bits of wisdom and some advice. Um, and when this starts happening, his life starts change, taking a whole different course. Um... He ends up uh, breaking up with his girlfriend because his girlfriend is cheating on him with his agent. And he ends up getting involved with a younger girl, Sarah Jessica Parker, who plays Sandy. Sandy, oh my goodness. Sandy with the crazy name. Big S, little A, little N, big D, little E, big E, and a star at the end. That is exactly how it is. I'm going to repeat that. Big S, little A. Little N, Big D, Little E, Big E, and a star at the end. And into this mix, he falls in love with Sarah, who's played by Victoria Tennant, who was married to Steve Martin at the time. And he falls in love with her, but the thing is, she is trying to work things out with her ex-husband, Roland, played by Richard E. Grant. And you have this real crazy love story here you got the things about LA you got in, in fact there are some incredible scenes in here uh, a lot of magical scenes a lot of things that just make you scratch your head there's a lot of cameos in here for example uh, Patrick Stewart's in this film he plays the maitre d' at this real high restaurant called Lydio and uh, you also have um, little cameos by Woody Harrelson. You got a blink, you miss him, you catch him at least twice. You got Iman in that. And this is a great film. It's very magical. Now, for those of you who want to get the DVD, I'm going to give you a recommendation. Get the 15th anniversary edition of L.A. Story. You'll be able to buy it cheap on Amazon or eBay. The reason why I'm steering you toward the 15th anniversary is because the special edition, the features in it are spectacular, especially um, one of the special uh, features has the L.A. of L.A. Story. It shows you where particular scenes were filmed. In fact, um, there are three sections of the movie that were filmed at the same location, and that was filmed at the Ambassador Hotel, which uh, is no longer there, which is sad because it, it, it was a historic landmark. For ex um, One big reason is that Robert uh, Kennedy was assassinated there. The hotel is, is totally gone now. But uh, watching the film, you see the magic, um, and there is a lot of Shakespeare references in that, in the film, especially with the weather. It makes you think of Shakespeare's A Tempest. Shakespeare apparently is so cool that he even stayed in L.A., according to the movie. Um, there's another couple things why you should definitely see the special edition. Uh, there was a couple of scenes cut out. Um, a couple of people cut up. For example, I don't know if you're aware of this, but John Lithgow um, was in the film 
but his scenes was cut. But his character is referenced in the movie at least a couple of times. Um, watching the cut and deleted scenes, you can understand why they were cut. In a way, I think it would have took the magic out of the film because the film is really magical. And it seemed that his part, even though he was good and hilarious, it's just... I think it would have brought the film down a bit. Also, Scott Bakula is in the film, and his scenes were completely cut. So you get a chance to see these deleted scenes and the history of L.A. story. Again, this is a magical film. It's a sweet love story. It's definitely worth your time. I hope that you do enjoy it. And again, L.A. story, it is sort of dated considering that this is 2011. This, this film is 20 years old, so a lot of stuff in L.A. is going to make you go like, oh my god, especially you see this one person with a flat top, you just look at it and go like, damn, that's an old style. Anyway, L.A. Story, Steve Martin, gotta catch it. Again, have a wonderful 4th of July. Take care of yourself. Bye.